grab my turret. Oh, you son of a... Why'd you have to do that for me? There it is. Oh. Hold on. Oh, nice there. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, well forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. I'll just, just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back with me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. <laughs> I wonder what you're gonna start making zombies. Maybe that's how the zombie apocalypse starts. Who knows? So we have awakened this by mistake and we're at chapter Sorry two. about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Not bad. Pretty simple. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. <laughs> There's a little diagram of the laser. I like how this uh this guy slides underneath it. <laughs> and we're at chapter two already. Going by pretty fast. I'll probably stop uh, pretty soon and like put them in the parts. And most people don't want to watch 40 minutes. Of this, right? this next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Test results. You are a horrible person. Oh, no, That's I'm what not. it says. No. A horrible person. We weren't, weren't even testing for that. So rude. Now she's holding a grudge. <laughs> Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. Oh, okay. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. 
Oh, no, that's going too far. Congratulations, not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. One moment. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. <laughs> You are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Oh, Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faithplate, which was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Okay, 
got the first time. Pretty quickly. Pretty simple. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. Uh -oh. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for oh. the rest of your life. That would drive me crazy. I thought that was interesting. I'll take a little drink. I got a bad cold last week. That's probably why I another video. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced, advanced aerial, aerial faint plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them, <laughs> standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Always like it. <laughs> Let's hit it again, make sure. 